to our special segment now, Quarter Se Quarter Tak. Subhi is joining in to take us through the key expectations from the consumer durable companies this quarter. Subhi. In Q1 FI24, consumer durable companies continue to see weak consumer sentiment. In cooling products, unseasonal rain, competitive pricing and weak demand environment have all impacted the room AC segment. On the back of this, the industry has seen flattish volume growth in Q1. The month of June did see some recovery in demand, however, that was not enough. Q1 is likely to see single-digit revenue growth for the cooling product companies. Waltas is going to see a slower revenue growth when compared to Blue Star, but both of them are going to see revenue growth in single digits. On margin fronts, RAC players are likely to see margin expansion in the range of 50 to 60 basis points. However, Waltas is going to see a margin expansion of 100 basis points on the back of a lower base. Now moving on to the consumer electrical space. For fans, the older non-rated fan inventory is largely over. But to push the BEE rated fans, companies did offer higher discounts and also cut prices to a certain extent. Despite that, the industry has seen flattish volumes in Q1. Apart from that, Q1 is weaker due to the absence of water heaters. For lighting, B2C has seen a muted growth, but B2B and B2G has seen an order pickup. In Q1 FI24, Crompton faced challenges due to competitive pricing and the revenue is expected to decline 4%. And Havels may also see a flattish revenue growth due to soft summer sales. Operating deleverage in fans and appliances are expected to play out and are going to impact margins for Crompton and likely to see a decline of anywhere between 50 to 70 basis points. For Havels, cables, switch gears and lighting segment are going to impact positively on the margin front and the fact that they have a lower base will also play out. Now on to the wires in the cable segment. That has continued to see strong demand traction. Industry volumes are expected to grow at 15% growth on a year-on-year -year basis. Copper and aluminium prices, although have corrected, strong volume growth would still result in a mid to high single-digit revenue growth for the companies. Within this space, Polycap is expected to be a key outperformer followed by KEI and Havels on both revenues and margin front. Overall, the consumer durable space is expected to witness a slower revenue growth. Commentary on demand scenario, competitive intensity and volume growth will be important to watch out for. All eyes will also be on the upcoming festive season for pickup in demand. So, sorry, Survi, thank you very much for that. Across the board, all the companies that she's spoken about, whether they're in the cooling segment or in the wires and cable segment, all of them are likely to clock in a margin expansion, I think barring Crompton, where according to her uh, expectation, margins could come down. But all the others are likely to see a margin expansion. Praveen Sahai, research analyst at Prabhudas Leeladhar, uh, is here with us on the show. Um, Naveen, um, morning, that's been the big thesis, right? Most of these companies got hit over the last two years due to margin pressures as uh, costs started spiking up. And now they're going to enjoy that lower inflation tailwind. Do you think it's all in the price and there is scope for an upside surprise on margins? And if yes, if you could break it up in terms of various segments. Yeah, uh, good morning, first of all. And uh, thank you for having me in the channel. So uh, from here onwards, uh, if I look at uh, the past quarter, the Q1 was uh, uh, quite soft, especially for uh, products like uh, for fan and the RSC. And now from here onwards, uh, definitely I can say that's the seasonal products uh, which has uh, not done well in the Q1, obviously for the entire year is a risk, especially for the RAC segment that uh, again, we have to look at the fourth quarter of this financial year uh, to bring back the growth momentum. However, the two quarters is going to be a very short for the RAC as a seasonal product. Now coming to the ECD, which uh, uh, largely the fan segment, uh, higher inventory level we had seen in the Q1, uh, FY24. And as for our dealer and distributor check, uh, this uh, uh, channel inventory has slowly at the end of a quarter has uh, normalized. So from here onwards, I can see that so with the rating norm change and uh, the uh, some softness or some correction in the inventory in the channel is expected to do well with the way forward in a year. And also, uh, okay. because of the, uh, you know, that uh, cost increase uh, uh, due to a rating change, uh, the uh, players has not able to pass on the uh, prices and not absorbed in the system. That also with the volume will come back. So I'm quite uh, hopeful for, uh, you know, especially for the fan segment to do from here onwards, the Q2 onwards, there is a, some pickup. Uh, secondly, on the Q2 
cable and wire, as you also mentioned, that's a quite a healthy growth in terms of the volume. More than a 15% the players are expected to do uh, in the Q1. And that growth momentum to continue, I believe, uh, in a year to come because uh, end user industries like infrastructure, real estate, uh, that's uh, uh, doing very well. And the wire and cable uh, eventually expected to do well in terms of the volume as well as some price correction in the raw material like copper, aluminum. That's okay. also driving the growth momentum to continue. And uh, related to the margin front, definitely we are uh, uh, expected to see, especially in the heavens for a quarter, we are expected to see a good margin improvement largely because of the uh, cable business. And uh, uh, year to come, their margin uh, to improve from here on. The only Lagarde is uh, Lloyd, I believe, because the RAC itself uh, not doing well. The season has gone by now uh, with mm. their, uh, uh, you know, the south expansion some uh, uh, some numbers to come in but still uh, there is a competitive pricing brings some challenges to them so okay. uh, in the ecd we are expecting some margin improvement down the line all right hi praveen good to have you on the channel uh, praveen i wanted to ask you about voltas you know rac as you said has been struggling a little bit and voltas the stock is 30 percent off the top you'll have a hold rating currently what are the key catalysts for the stock from here on valuations are not cheap market share they're losing and margins under pressure what more can go wrong for them? Uh, yes, so uh, we are also, uh, you know, out of our coverage, uh, Voltas is, uh, uh, you know, somewhere the Lagarde, I can say, because the season has gone by in the RSC and a uh, lot of a competition they are facing in terms of the competitive pricing. Even the some players has uh, started their assembly unit in the southern part of India. That's again a further put some pressure to them in terms of the market share, uh, you know, to maintain a market share from here onwards. So uh, I am not looking at a significant improvement, especially for the Voltas in the next uh, couple of quarters, all dependence on the fourth quarter, uh, where uh, if, uh, you know, industry to do well, uh, some pickup in the demand, uh, and also, just to give you some number on the RSC, that's the last year, 8.4 million units has been sold. And this year, expectation was about 9.5 million. And uh, because of uh, the first quarter disappointment, this number is not likely to achieve. And being the market leader, the Voltas, that's uh, definitely they are going to face some challenges. So, and also uh, the valuation Praveen. 32, 33 times currently trading at challenges related to their RSE Got it. segments. It's not a, you know, uh, okay. the stock at over here. So let's talk about some stocks that have caught the fancy of investors, right? Polycab, I mean, that's been roaring. If you just look at the last one year, Polycab has gone from 2100. It's now at almost 4000 rupees. Uh, do you see more upsides there? Because in your note, I noticed that you've written that this quarter's numbers will be very good. 15% sales growth, margins will improve. So is there more upside for a name like Polycab? Just look at that, the way that chart has moved. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Uh, the polycab in terms of the number as well as the stock has done very well. And the way forward also, uh, there is a structural story in the cable and wire segment and being the leader in that segment, uh, polycab expected to do well. Uh, but I'm not so comfortable on the valuation right now. It's uh, trading at around 32, 33 times of FY25 earning. Uh, and uh, uh, but uh, again, like uh, this quarter of uh, earning growth of around 23 percent, we are expecting top line of around 14 and half percent. And the year is also going to be a similar uh, way they are going to report. Uh, but the valuation somewhere is a uh, concerning, I believe, uh, for a polycap. Hmm. Uh, on the uh, AC cooling side, what are the volumes that you're anticipating this quarter? And do things pick up? Because this quarter was impacted with the unseasonal rains and the fluctuations in weather. Uh, so what's the volume forecast for Q1 and thereafter? How do you see it progress? So uh, so the RSC, if you look at for a quarter, uh, there is a degrowth in the northern side. There is a severe degrowth we have seen around 15-20%, whereas southern side, it's with the flat. So overall, uh, the numbers, uh, if you look at on the, uh, you know, the major companies like a Voltas, a Hevels, or a Blue Star, is a quite a different, especially for the RSC, there is a degrowth we are uh, seeing, a single digit of a degrowth, whereas uh, 
the other cooling space like a uh, blue star is doing very well in the uh, the commercial ac space even the voltas has a contribution to that they are going to report a, a growth of a single digit i believe and uh, havels the lloyd well, now they had a venture out in the south so from there we are expecting in their uh, lawyer numbers to double digit of a growth for a third quarter as i said that the rac is a quite seasonal product q1 is a uh, heavy and that has uh, not done well because of all unseasonal rain slowdown in demands and all and uh, the next two quarters is definitely is a not a good quarter seasonally so we all are looking at uh, now the q4 for rac especially Okay, uh, we leave it at that, Praveen. Thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, appreciate your thoughts.